So from my understanding, you can rest your hood on top of here, whether you should do that or not. I think it's okay. Bit, rotate side bit, rotate side bit, rotate sideways, hold out with your fingers. You're kidding. Comes off. That on the next one? Uh, yeah, yeah, so the bezels we're gonna reuse, I'm pretty sure. And you slide it up and the headlight will come right out. The adapter, this is, goes from the old harness that's in the Jeep, and this it makes it so it can connect to the new LEDs. For sure. But just like, you know, with the Jeep. Yeah. Just some good tape. He's good. The original harness type thing, and then okay. this is a resistor. Maybe, um, no, 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 no. Good. Grounded. <laughs> On super easy. Took off the grill. We have all the components for the grill and whatnot. Super easy hooking up the headlight itself. If you are hooking up just headlights, super easy, nothing to worry about. The only thing is when you start to hook up the halos is when it gets a little bit difficult. Devices, you can pick them up at like O'Reilly's, AutoZone, whatever. You just put one end of the wire in on one side and then you splice the other one in by pushing down on this uh, metal clamp. Going to splice, not the main headlight, anything to do with the main headlight, yeah, but no. the turn signal. What you want to do is be able to make the halo work with the turn signal. So we're splicing the halo function to the turn signal. Uh, all those Jeep Wrangler owners out there, you would grab your turn signal light. The amber. The amber okay. light, yeah, the amber light below that main headlight. And then there's going to be some wire housing, just kind of take that apart. On the, which cable? It's the uh, third, the outermost cable, so there's ground, yeah. then there's the actual daytime running light, then there's the turn signal. You want to connect it to the turn signal so that your halos don't turn the uh, amber color all day long. Yeah, okay, so the so, one farthest from the ground, you're yeah. going to splice. And on the driver's side, the wire color is white and green, but on the passenger side, the wire color is white and pink. Yeah. Okay, so one wire just goes in the outside end, and the other one just slides in like this. Yeah, for sure, we can see it. Okay. Yep. Slide it in like that. There, good. So after you clamp that down, both of those wires should be spliced pretty well. Shouldn't be able to pull one of them apart or anything, just put the top over it. Done. the positive end we have the it grounded to the negative and then we have the red wire which what we wanted to do we wanted to put it on the positive end whatever we touch it to the positive end boom we got the halos running if it'll focus we got the halos running but this is kind of like it's running at all times right mm -hmm. we need to figure out a way to make it so that it's on but not all the time so what we're gonna do is similar to what we did with the signals we hooked up the halos to the turn signals so now we're gonna hook the positive end also up to the same wire on this side that we did the turn signals and same with the other side and hopefully that'll kind of solve this having the halos on all the time yep. okay so we got some excess wire you just saw we cut off the kind of Thing that we were going to put underneath the battery which didn't really work so we crimped that with some extra wire just so it'll reach the turn signal oh satisfying oh almost hold on okay so it's good okay they're both in pretty firm you try to like when you give it a little tug nothing's going to come apart clamp that down and now we have a good long wire running from our positive end that we're going to crimp Crimp, clamp, I don't even know. Crimp or clamp to what we did, exactly what we did with the turn signal down here. You can see we have the crimp right here. We're just gonna throw another one on there. We're gonna, what's the best way to sneak this down? We're just gonna go we're just gonna, along 
Yeah, this is like the most congested area of the engine bay. But the second what it looks like, but we got it. It's all wired up. It's all good to go. We're just gonna quickly, quickly explain what we did. Is we took what we were gonna hook up to the positive end. We spliced some wire into what was gonna go right here. We ran that wire right into here. Um, and you plug it into boom. the amber output for the, um, so for the daytime running lights, the amber turn signal is always on. It's so always on. So we spliced on. it into that one that turns on whenever you turn on your um, daytime running lights. So boom. The